Hello students, this is the first video of evolution and today we will talk about theories of evolution. So let's start. Before discussing the theories of evolution, we should know what is evolution. Evolution is the study of history of life form on the earth. So if we study the history of life, how the life was created on the earth, that is known as evolution. Now let us look at theories of evolution. The first theory is Big Bang Theory. Now this theory originates and states that universe was created as a result of single huge explosion. And this explosion was so big that it was unimaginable in physical terms. Now as a result of this explosion, universe expanded. And when the universe expanded, the temperature of the earth came down. Hydrogen and helium were formed and as a result the gases they condensed under the gravitational force of the earth and galaxies were formed. So this was how the earth was formed according to Big Bang Theory. There was a single huge explosion. The explosion resulted in decrease in the temperature of the earth. Hydrogen and helium were formed and these gases condensed under gravitation forces and galaxies were formed. The next theory of evolution is theory of panspermia. It is also known as theory of Greek philosophers because it was given by Greek thinkers. Now this theory states that life it originated from the spores and these spores were also called pansperms. Now this theory states that life originated from spores or pans, pansperms and these spores or pansperms they came on the earth along with meteorite. They came along with meteorite on the earth and these spores they evolved into various forms of life. The third theory of evolution was theory of spontaneous generation. Now according to this theory life came out of decaying and rotten material. Life came from decaying and rotten material like mud or straw. Now, very important question which is asked from this theory is that this theory was disapproved by which scientist? This theory was disapproved by Louis Pasteur. Now, let us look how Louis Pasteur disapproved the theory of spontaneous generation. So, now we will discuss about the experiment which Louis Pasteur did in order to disapprove the theory of spontaneous generation. Louis Pasteur took two flasks. In both the flasks, he took killed yeast. So, Louis Pasteur, he took two flasks and in both the flasks, he took killed yeast. One flask was pre-sterilized, means there was no microbes in that flask. It was sterilized. It was free from any contamination. And other flask was kept open to air. So it was kept open to air. So he took two flasks, one was pre-sterilized and one was open to air. In both these flasks, he kept killed yeast. And he found out that in the pre-sterilized flask, there was no life which originated. But in the flask which was open to air, life originated from killed yeast. So what he concluded? He concluded that life originated from pre-existing life. So this disapproved the theory of spontaneous generation because the life it originated in the flask which was open to air in which killed yeast was kept. So this proved that life originated from pre-existing life. Now let us talk about theory of chemical evolution or theory of abiogenesis. Now let us look at theory of chemical evolution or theory of abiogenesis. This theory was given by Operin and Haldane. Now let us look at its postulates. 
This theory states that life came from pre-existing organic molecules like RNA and protein. So life, it originated from RNA and protein which were the pre-existing organic molecule. And second postulate was that there was first chemical evolution and then life form came into being. That means chemical evolution preceded formation of life. Now, this theory of abiogenesis was proved by two scientists by his experiments which were Jure and Miller. In the NCRT, it is written only Jure, but the scientists were Jure and Miller. So, let us look at the experimental proof which was given by Jure and Miller in order to prove theory of chemical evolution. Now, Jure and Miller, they took a glass container. In this glass container, they took four gases that were methane, ammonia, water vapor and hydrogen. So, methane, ammonia, water vapor and hydrogen were the four gases which took in this flask. And in this flask, there were electrodes. Now, these electrodes they produced current and as a result, the temperature of this glass container was up to 800 degrees Celsius. Now, when these four gases along with high temperature of 800 degrees Celsius was kept in this flask, after one week, Jury and Miller saw the formation of amino acids. This proved that chemical evolution occurs and this chemical evolution leads to formation of new life. If you have gained something from this video, please subscribe to my channel Ramji Chopra, like and comment.